No cable? Need a way to watch Lomachenko vs. Lopez this weekend? Then I got you covered. Get ESPN Plus using my link below. One great night, a lightweight fight. Winner takes all. Also, with your ESPN Plus subscription, you'll be able to watch UFC Fight Night, Brian Ortega versus the Korean Zombie. Two great main cards for only $5.99. By clicking my link, I receive a small kickback that I use to help grow the channel. Thank you, and I'll see you at the fights. Luis King Kong Ortiz is back on this heavyweight card, PBC. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. We working. You guys seen the trailer at the beginning. If you're looking for a way to watch Teofimo versus Lomachenko, Look no further. Click the link in any of my videos in the description box. Sign up for ESPN Plus. They will be airing the whole card on ESPN Plus. Link below. And it's a great way if you don't have cable. ESPN Plus, they're also um, showing UFC Fight Night. Brian Ortega, who shaved his head. And the Korean Zombie. That's another card also on this Saturday. As well as a ton of other content. Again, use my link. It does help the channel continue to grow. And let's get it. Now, this is a copy and paste from an email I received from PBC. It says, Stack night of heavyweight action hits prime time. Top heavyweight contender, Luis Ortiz takes on Alexander Flores in a Fox PBC fight night main event and on Fox Deportes Saturday, November 7th, Microsoft Theater in LA. Also on the card, someone who trains out of Canelo Alvarez's gym with Eddie Reynoso, Frank Sanchez versus Brian Howard as the co-main event, and then undefeated Michael Coffey squares off against Joey Abel on the telecast. Now, this is a good heavyweight card, you know, just for something. Um, let me see what day this. Okay, it's, it is on a Saturday, but yeah, that's a that's a solid Fox card. I really enjoy watching Luis Ortiz. He's coming off a nasty knockout. So I want to see how he responds to punches. You never know. You know, Wilder has type of freakish power where some guys may not even be the same after they get hit with that type of stuff. And Luis Ortiz fought him not once, but twice. And the first fight was about 11 rounds. Second fight was six rounds. So that's like 17 rounds of punches thrown and landed by a vicious puncher like Deontay DeBron, Bama Walter for Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Oh my God. Right? So I'm anxious to see how Luis Ortiz prepares. He was with Larry Wade his last fight. He was in phenomenal shape. I think Luis Ortiz, as he turned up, would have given anybody in the heavyweight division problems. The way he was boxing, um, the way it seems such second nature to him. It's just Walter has freakish power, so you can't make no mistakes you can't get lax at the end of the round nothing you know but i really rate luis ortiz they're trying to build pbc is trying to build a andy ruiz luis ortiz fight for 2021 and i'm definitely checking for that so um ruiz is coming back first portion of the year that's a great fight now another person is uh frankie sanchez he trains at a Canelo gym, as I mentioned. He fought Joey DeVeco, who was rumored to give Joshua a lot of problems in sparring, arguably knock him out or hurt him. So he, he's somebody I'm checking for. Another Cuban. That's, that's a great fight. And then Michael Coffey. Michael Coffey is the country-fed-looking, dark-skinned dude from... He fought on one of these undercards, um, on the Fox undercard, and he was getting busy. And I, I told you guys on my channel, I was actually doing a live stream. I was like, man, I like this cat. I, don't, I didn't really see much about him. But, um, yeah, he, he's definitely a big heavyweight. Um, not really tall, but he's just real bulky, like country fed. You going to eat your cornbread, looking at And um, he's also Wilder's sparring partner. He sparred with Wilder and stuff. But 
I liked it, but I told you I would want to watch him again. So this is a solid card. It's a triple header, and it has some great heavyweights that I'm definitely checking for. And this will catapult them to bigger fights if they should win these fights for the fresh 2021 budgets. So let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Great card. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more sports. Get unlimited access to premium content with an ESPN Plus subscription. ESPN Plus offers a variety of content, including specials, behind the scenes, docu-series like Bruce Lee's Be Water, and much more. With an ESPN Plus subscription, you get access to a ton of classic archive fights and replays from boxing and the UFC. Big names like, hi, I'm Mike Tyson, come and watch my fight, Floyd Mayweather, easy work, I'm rich, and Manny Pacquiao, uh, yes, it's up to my promoter, do, 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 do. just to name a few. If that's not enough, you could get the ESPN bundle, which includes ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus, all three apps, one low price. You don't want to miss out. Make sure you guys click that link in the description box of all of my videos. Ego, signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.